Hey, everybody, this is Pastor B with Tuesday's Touch. Listen, we didn't have Tuesday's Touch last week, but some of you may not know why. So a little while ago, my wisdom teeth began to hurt me, and they were hurting pretty bad. The doctor gave me an antibiotic, and it worked out pretty good for a while, but then they started to kind of crank back up several months later. And they were quiet all the way through last year, or most of last year, but then to later on towards this year, now they, they started to crank back up, and so I had to go and have them removed. That's right. On Monday, I had all four of my wisdom teeth removed. I went to the oral surgeon. They put me to sleep. I woke up, and all four of my wisdom teeth had been extracted. I tried to get them to let me have them, and they said, no, nah, we're going to put them in the biohazard. I said, okay. My mom was here kind of sitting with me while I had the surgery because somebody had to take me and sit there and then take me back. And then uh, my wife and my daughter checked on me every hour on the hour and several family members and church members were praying for me. And so I'm thankful to them. And it's pretty good. I have a little soreness, uh, but overall I'm good. I was able to, to worship and to preach on Sunday. So I'm doing pretty good. Uh, and I was reminded, however, in that experience that there are some things in life that just have to be extracted. There are some things in life that may come in on their own. God's plan was for my wisdom teeth to come in. I didn't ask for them. I didn't say, hey, I need wisdom teeth. No, God designed my body so that they would come in and be with me for a moment. But then after a while, they started to pain and to hurt, and it was obvious to me that they needed to be removed. Sometimes there are things in our lives, as we progress on, that need to be removed. If you leave them in, if you stay connected to them, just like my wisdom teeth started hurting me and I had to take an antibiotic to calm them down and take the Aleve to calm them down, in the same way, the things in our lives that we allow to stay for too long, we allow them to stay even though we've outgrown them, well, they begin to cause problems for us. Habits, grudges, perspectives, Sometimes there are things that come to us, but then we need to let go. The Apostle Paul says in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning at verse number 11, When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. So, hey, there are some things in your life that may be hurting you some habits, some perspectives, some, some people. If they're hurting you, maybe it's time for an extraction. After the extraction, just like with my teeth, you may be left with a little discomfort, but you'll be better in the long run if you let those things go. This has to be with Tuesday such. God bless you. God keep you. Hey, listen, we have resumed our in-person worship here, in-person indoor worship here at St. James, and it's been amazing. If you would like to join us and you are in the Charleston area, please go to our church's website, www.stjamesji.org. There's a link there that says register for worship. It'll take you through all the steps. You will need proof of vaccination and a picture ID the first time you come. After that, we get you certified. You do not have to show those things again. Also, there's a link on this email that will also take you directly to the registration page. God bless you and God keep you. You have been touched.